breakfast show. <laughs> well, it's Christmas time. I was going to say the Christmas show. <laughs> the Christmas show. <laughs> well, it's Christmas time, and of course, we're celebrating these days. But is Christmas becoming too commercialized? This is a question that many people ask. A lot of people nowadays think about Christmas as a time of commercial ventures, but it's actually a holiday that deserves all publicity and deserves as well to be celebrated in its original essence. I'd like to welcome with me today in the studio um, Mrs. Lula Zaklema, the uh, president of the International Public, Public Relations Association. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Madam Lula, and thank you for joining us on the breakfast show. So let's first start off. I mean, has uh, Christmas become too much of a commercial um, it has to has become too commercial in your view yes it has become uh, not too commercial it has become very commercial mm. but uh, let me take it uh, in two dimensions the positives and the negatives mm -hmm. of taking it into uh, the commercial side of it the commercial side of it is not a bad thing at all because it um, it stimulates consumer behavior it stimulates consumer purchases consumer uh, uh, people are buying more and that stimulates the economy Many, mm -hmm. many shops and many bookstores and many uh, electricians and technicians and carpenters, they live for that uh, part of the season. They make enough money during that season to cover them for, for practically half the year. Mm. So in, in that respect, with consumer spending uh, going up like that, uh, it is certainly uh, on the positive side. Um, on the other hand, it, uh, it could be also, it has become, it could, in, from the Christian perspective, it could lose its meaning, its actual meaning, as you said earlier on, uh, what it's originally for. Mm -hmm. It is, after all, from my perspective as a Christian, it is the birth of Jesus Christ who came into the world to save us and to bring peace to this world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And his mes message of peace should not be forgotten in, in this uh, turmoil world. Mm -hmm. uh, how can, as you said, how can Christian families um, uh, try to put this essence into the younger generations because now younger generations think about Christmas in terms of gifts, in terms of the tree, decorations, um, maybe uh, meeting with family and friends. But as you said, the birth of Jesus Christ, how can they take this essence back into the family in their I think, celebrations? Um, uh, we, here in Egypt, I think the Christian families are taking this uh, in, into the families much more than in other countries. If you take uh, the US, for example, the highest shopping season, the highest day of shopping is the day following Thanksgiving, which is the last Thursday of the month. Mm -hmm. And on Friday, they go wild, absolutely wild on shopping. Here in Egypt, we still preserve our traditions, our religion. You, feel you find a lot in the churches. Uh, you find people going to churches much more often during Christmas time. Uh, I think it depends also on the family itself. Uh, mm. For example, in my family for our Christmas dinner, we always start with a prayer. Uh, so it, it comes from, from me to my daughters, to my granddaughters, and hopefully to their grand, to their children as well. So it, it all depends on the family, but I think it is very, very important that the commercial side should not dominate the true mm -hmm. essence. It, there should be a balance. As I said earlier on, the commercial side helps in the economy. But on the other hand, it should not be the dominating factor. It seems to me, yes, it is becoming quite dominant. I mean, it's a happy season. Let's mm -hmm. face it, it is a very happy season. Yes. People are happy with decorations and gifts and, and trees and lights. And look at the streets and, and how lovely they look. So in a, in a sense, it is a happy season, but it should not be the dominant factor. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Now, uh, Madam Lula, Christmas is a very important day in the life of a Christian. It's a time for thanksgiving and rejoicing, and people celebrate it and enjoy holidays, of course, in different ways. Now, should the holiday season be more promoted towards a time for giving and sharing? Oh, yes, of course. It is, of course, it is the time of sharing. We have to share with those who are less fortunate than us. We are fortunate. We have homes, we have beds. We sleep in warm beds, uh, and for this, we are, one is eternally grateful that we have a roof on our heads, and there are people who are less fortunate, who've never seen a gift, who've never seen a good meal, and I think there's a, a lot going on in that area. Lots of people are really giving at that season, in gifts and in food, particularly food. Uh, it is so important. I mean, our community does a lot in that. I don't like to talk about what we do, but. I certainly see that a lot of people are doing so much to help mm -hmm. and to give joy to those who are less fortunate than we are. Well, many commercial organizations are taking new and innovative ways every Christmas to make buyers buy more. What do you offer uh, buyers as an advice? 
I, I think buyers should be buying at this Christmas season because it helps people who have the products in the first place to sell them. So it turns, the, the, uh, it turns around the cash flow. Uh, but uh, to be cautious and not buy, uh, to be cautious and buy what you actually need, what is not just nice to have, but you need to have. So to be a bit cautious. Mm -hmm. Yes, Madam, you were speaking about um, Christmas becoming too commercial. Do you think that uh, um, in Egypt it is uh, more or less commercial than elsewhere around the world? Less commercial, much less Why commercial. Why do you think so? Uh, because, uh, because, I, Chris, because Christmas is celebrated much more in the West. I mean, they start celebrating Christmas as the last week of, of uh, in, uh, in November, in Thanksgiving. The decorations actually go out in October. Mm. Uh, here, no, we start in, in, in the middle of December. So uh, it, is, it is less commercial. And of course, the purchasing power here is much less than, uh, than in, in the West. Mm -hmm. That's one thing. Uh, mm -hmm. And second, uh, it is not as really, because it's, it's a balance here. Mm -hmm. There, I think it's all festivities. Here, mm -hmm. I think it's more balanced. There are two dates here in Egypt for Christmas. <laughs> the 25th of December yes. and the 7th of January. So it's like a season. It's like a season because we, we the Copts, we celebrate it on the 7th. On yes. the 6th is mm -hmm. Christmas Eve and on the, 7th is Christmas, on the 7th is Christmas Day. And I'm so glad that it is a national holiday now. This yeah. is a great joy for <laughs> all of us. And, um, well, but we start as of the 24th and we go to church on the 24th and a little bit of celebrations with others who are celebrating on the 25th. Don't forget that Egypt is, uh, has, has the two, two communities. There are people who are celebrating on the 25th. So it's continuous. But we say that the real date is we, the Copts, I mean, the Coptic Church says it is the 7th, which is correct. The, the West says, no, it, it is the 25th, it is correct. Who knows? Yeah, he but of course, Christmas is always a, is very a, a, an interesting uh, period of time because um, not only does it come in the winter, but uh, of course, as you said, the decorations. But it's always associated, I mean, the decorations are not only associated with Christmas itself, but also with New Year. Um, ah, yes, was course. that always there or did that yeah. like sort of develop by time? I, I guess because it's a continuous process. It starts on the 25th and people don't want to remove the, 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 the decorations in immediately. Days, so yeah. it, in five days it's <laughs> haram. It's too much, too much money and, and, uh, and effort has gone into these decorations. So it goes on. And for us, we start earlier than the 25th and we continue till the 7th. We don't remove the decorations until the 8th. So it's a, it's a, continuous, pre it's a continuous process. So I, I think it's a happy season and people are happy and people are giving uh, and above all it's a time for the family to get together because you hear we hear that people are flying home for Christmas from wherever they are mm -hmm. uh, especially in the West if you look at the states where they're scattered all over the US and they all come home for Christmas uh, here too I mean uh, I have a, a fam I have four grandchildren and two daughters and honestly, I can never get them all together except for Christmas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're all dispersed all over the place. They have their own life. So it's, it's a happy time for all the family to be together. So uh, give us an insider tip on your family life. How will it be in Christmas? How will you celebrate? I have, I have a wonderful family. I have been blessed <laughs> with a wonderful family. My husband, uh, Ramzi, and my two lovely daughters, Shireen and Dina. And uh, they have each two children. And two of my granddaughters are married, so I have another addition of two more in-laws in the family. And, uh, and I have a little baby great-grandson. <laughs> May God bless them all. So, uh, I, um, I have a final question uh, also concerning uh, the Christmas uh, occasion and being it yeah, or not too commercial. Um, you said it's a time or it's a good opportunity for families to gather together and for family members to, 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 to be together. Um, do you think that the social behavior has changed uh, throughout time? I mean, now there's so much activities and one people can do when, when they think of spending time uh, on a holiday. How has that changed throughout the years yeah, during the season of Christmas? People have less time. We must admit now that people are, there is so much pressure in the world and there's so much pressure going on in our lives, the traffic, and it, it certainly has, uh, has affected a lot of the family reunions. We used to be able to go to my, to my mother's for lunch every Friday. It's now becoming impossible for people to, to gather because of, of the pressures uh, mm -hmm. in, in, um, in, in this world. But the one message I would just like to leave you with is that we should never forget that Jesus came with a message of peace and love. And in this world of war and, and turmoil, with this great message of peace and love, for each other should not be forgotten. 
Well, we wish you a very Merry Christmas, Mrs. Lula Zaklama, and thank you very much for being with us today. Thank, thank you, you very much, much for joining Thanks us, Ms. Lula Zaklama, International Public Relations expert. Um, now we move on to the Valley of the Kings. Now, it was a royal cemetery for 62 uh, pharaohs, and it is located in the West Bank of Luxor. Now, Tahrid Hussein explores this beautiful and magnificent Valley of the Kings of Egypt. <laughs> 